Ladies and gentlemen, I now invite Mr. Roger Nias, United States Ambassador to Barbados, to the podium for a few remarks. Wow, it, it looks like a graduation and a very cool one. I will uh, share with you a few things, but first I want to thank the Prime Minister, Prime Minister Motley. This is the record-breaking trade winds, the largest, most integrated, most successful, and I give you a lot of credit for this because when people think of the Eastern Caribbean, they think of you and they think of Barbados, but it's not just Barbados, I, it's the whole region, and you have elevated the the visibility, the importance, and the voice of the people of the Eastern Caribbean, and this exercise is just a testament to that. So, sincere thanks. So, I grew up in a uh, Coast Guard town uh, on the coast of Washington State, a uh, small Coast Guard station with one of the roughest bars uh, on the West Coast. And I've lost family members uh, out in the ocean, Pacific Ocean. Um, and it was the Coast Guard that was always there to, um, to search for people whose lives have been lost and save those whose lives are still clinging uh, to a boat or raft or whatever it may be. And I know each of you has a similar story. And it's just incredible to stand with you um, as a civilian, as a, as a political appointee of President Biden. Um, I'm, I'm an unusual uh, ambassador because I'm not, I'm not from the career uh, services. So you'll often find that I don't always follow the rules um, and that is a little scary for my military friends. Um, so be prepared, there's something coming up. Um, but I, I just wanna say thank you uh, truly to Barbados to all the nations. I, I participated in this exercise. A number of you saw me. I was not just showing up and shaking hands. I was actually engaged. I got to fly a Black Hawk. I got to um, shoot at the range. I was much better than people thought I would be. Um, and I think I was deputized. I'm not sure. I'm still waiting for my badge, but uh, they may not let me have one at the embassy. Uh, but I, I just, I, and the most, uh, Exciting one was uh, at Kensington Oval. I did a, um, a, a active shooter training exercise where I was extracted from Kensington Oval. And this just happened yesterday and it was incredible. It was a multi-nation force um, and it just, it was training for everybody. And we had some of the best trainers um, in the world um, that were part, are participating in that exercise. But I, I will just say that I have been so impressed with the people. I, I, met the, I met the dog that was barking, the canine, and the, the team from Mexico. I met um, teams from Colombia, Guatemala, Dominican Republic, um, I, all of our lovely friends and allies. Um, but it was just, it was really heartening um, to see the cooperation in our hemisphere. Um, so I wanna recognize four individuals, um, and I'd ask you to come up. Um, so, Commander Mark Peterson, um, the Barbados Defense Force Exercise Co-Lead, please join me. I have Colonel Chip Carrolls, please join me. Um, Ms. Rosie Sandoval, the um, Army South Co-Lead and Lead Planner. And, Major Angela Valsine of the U.S. Southern Command. And what's very exciting, a number of my friends here know, I'm a member of a, 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 the Chinook Indian Nation, which is a Native American tribe in the United States. Um, I don't look Native American. I've got the blonde hair. Um, my dad is Norwegian, um, but my mom, very much uh, Native American. And so um, I actually ordered um, custom challenge coins um, that have my Native American tribe um, on one half and the Eastern Caribbean and Barbados on the other. So I'm gonna share a challenge coin with each of our co-leads and each of our leaders that made this possible. So please join me.
so with that, I want to say thank you. And again, thanks to Prime Minister Motley for making this happen. And um, you know, four months on the job, uh, it's, it's, this is, uh, it's, there's a lot. I think people think we're on vacation here, and we know we're not. This is real work, and all of you um, make it look easy for us civilians, but we know how difficult it is, and we know the sacrifices you make. And I just want to say, on behalf of President Biden, thank you. Thank you very much.